Hello, my name is Andres Garcia. I am a law major and I plan to graduate this 2018 with an Associate in Arts degree. I have volunteered my time with the good people at First Lecture to help you gather and offer some advice for you to have accessible college experience. <laughs> but unlike high school, college is neither mandatory nor free. Recent studies by the American Association of Community Colleges show that only 20% of full-time community college students earn a degree within three years. The longer it takes you to complete a degree, the better the chances you'll get discouraged and simply drop out. This is all pretty much all common sense stuff, but for some reason, it's just stuff we don't want to deal with during our senior year. Take a listen and see how these things might work for you. The only way you're really going to know what college is about is once you get on college campus. And that means you're going to have to actually uh, set aside all the knowns that have comforted you up until now. And in, in some ways, it may be a little scary, but in many ways, having that mystery allows you to un uncover and find things you didn't think you'd find. You have to be able to say, well, I don't know what's going to happen, and I'm, I'm going to make myself open to finding things I didn't think I was looking for. I think it is definitely harder than what I thought because I wasn't prepared for it as much as high school told me I would be. It's going to be way different from high school. It was more serious than I thought it was. I realized that I had to do a lot of studying, a lot of extra time, a lot of dedication and motivation in order to reach the goal of like getting good grades for my career. All we did was talk about what was going to go on in college in my senior classes but we didn't really prepare, actually. No one's telling you to come to class, and no one's making you go, so um, you have to do that for yourself. In order to be successful in college, you really have to dedicate your time and effort all into all of your homework and just making an effort reaching out to your teachers when you don't understand the concept, and that's on you to do. Um, getting into good study habits is really helpful um, because then once things get hard, you'll have that to fall back on. Um, I think also getting into the habit of really being proactive about your work. Um, if you've got questions, if you've got problems, you yourself email your teacher, go in and stop by. Um, those habits will really be helpful as you get to college because you'll have to stand up for yourself and ask your own questions. Um, and not rely on anyone else. Um, once you're familiar with that, and if you do that when you're in high school, then you'll be that much more comfortable doing that in college. I think that as a junior, what to think about is definitely make sure that you have good study techniques. Make sure your phone's away from you when you're studying. Just try to get that down before you come to school because you will be in for a reality check. Freedom really isn't free, and you give the student the freedom to, to set their own classes, to come and go as they please, and, and then the student believes, okay, well, this is very, really easy. But this is really like a, a microcosm of life. Um, it, 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 you can do anything you want, you know, but you have to find a way to self-govern and self-regulate your desires and your determinations. You're really going to have to be the, the bus driver in your, in your life now. That transition from having somebody do it for me and me doing it for myself, I think that's a, it, it's, it's, it's a very profound lesson. I think it's a lesson that many students appreciate once they master that freedom. Because it seems like it's easy, but it's, re it's really not. I'm doing this for me and not for anyone else. You know, I'm putting in my, all my time and all my money, you know, since I don't have to be here. I, you know, I want to be here to learn and put in, like, you know, and get a better career in life. Well, education is important, so because you see your parents, they didn't have an education, that you see how they struggle with just working a regular job. And people with degrees with better jobs live way better. There were a lot of things that kind of took a turn in my life when I started college. I realized that I couldn't just do my homework for a half an hour and get by with some good grades like high school. I had to put in countless hours and late nights and I had to do a lot of extra work besides what my instructors told me that I needed to do in order to keep my grades up, in order to learn the concepts, in order to do well on my exams. Like there were a lot of adjustments that I had to make on my own and learn myself. The most important subject 
that you'll ever encounter as a college student yourself. You know, you have to, the discovery, any discovery from any course that you take, you first have to at least approach yourself and remember who you used to be before you cared about what other people thought because you're gonna need that kid to help you uh, verbalize and see the things underneath the surface that it's gonna carry with you for the rest of your life. Remember, you don't have to do this alone, but you must reach out, seek advice, and make the college experience work for you. Good luck.